Man United speak to Eric Ten Hag and Paul Pogba admits to depression during the time with Jose Mourinho in charge. What's up, everyone? Remember, welcome to the latest Manchester United news. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, here to give you the latest Manchester United news. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Man United have finally spoken to Eric Ten Hag. This has come out the news today, coming out of Sky Sports, Fabrizio Romano, The Express, all outlets are coming out that Manchester United have finally started discussion with manager. And it's been a long time that we've been waiting. It's like, when is Man United going to start speaking to these, Man United, to, to these managers? You know, because we heard that Manchester United will wait until international week like their blade like their players i never knew manchester united board members and staff players people who run the club or or like players i didn't know they kick ball for them to wait until international duty for you to start looking for your man you're supposed to be looking for your mans since december but yes guys it has been confirmed and i will show you the news i have seen it on the express manchester united finally getting into talks with eric ten hog ten hog himself speaking about all sorts of things. As you can see here, guys, you can see Manchester United holding talks. They're discussing the club budget, club future, and etc. He also spoke to them about his philosophy as well, which was very important. And you can read it here. Manchester United have held talks with Eric Ten Hag as they continue their search for a manager. The Ajax had head coach is one of several candidates on the shortlist to take over from Ralph Fragner in the summer. Ten Hag asks about United's budget plans for the future during an interview this week. The 52-year-old has improved his English since an interview with Tottenham last spring to a level that would not be a barrier for United's perspective and feels ready to take on a Premier League challenge after more than four years at Ajax. And this one here, that, that one there is very interesting, guy, because he has to discuss the, with the future budget. Because we he needs to know what's your plans, bro. I'm not gonna come here and you guys can just make me swim with the fishes, you know, throw me underneath the bus. I am not having that. And I'm so pleased that Eric Ten Hag's the first person they've interviewed. You know, Manchester United have been linked with other players, like I mean, other managers such as Maurizio Pochettino, which they will be interviewed later on. Um, look, 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 um, what's his name? Lopetelli or Lopetogi or whatever his name is, the civil manager. He's been spoke. He's been spoken about as well. So they will look at him as well, and also Jose Enrique, you know, um, of Spain's national team management. He will also potentially be interviewed. So there, there is a shortlist. But with this, I'm so happy that Manchester United have decided to speak to the Eric Ten Hag. I'm more in favour of Eric Ten Hag. Um, I want I, I want him because he's something new, something someone that wants to prove himself, someone that wants to take his managerial experience and take his game to the next level. And he's ready for that step up, you know. Whereas the other managers have been there and done it in other teams and other clubs, other great clubs, you know, and still haven't really proven themselves. And so I want something new. I've always said this before. I want something. I don't know how you guys feel, but I really want something different. I want this 10 hour. I want that bold-headed guy right there that probably thinks too much, scratches his head too much. He's been scratching his head for the longest that he probably lost all his hair because he's always thinking, tinkering. You know, a, a guy that come from the Ajax as well, le play, learning the Ajax way, adopted and adapted to their to, to, to their ways. Someone that worked under Pep Guardiola at Bayern Munich. I'm so for it. I want to know what you guys think if you're up for this. This Ten Hag, are you swaying into Ten Hag as well? Do you want Ten Hag? Because that will be so interesting for Manchester United to go for Ten Hag. Another news today that came out, which was Paul Labile Pogba admitting to his depression and speaking about his future. This is coming from BBC News. Manchester United midfielder Pogba says he's experienced depression after falling out with Jose Mourinho during his time, you know, that peak, they, that, that those were peak times. Those were peak times against uh, Mourinho. You know, he, he he spoke about how his relationship and was very difficult after losing the vice captaincy in September. And he was also told that he'll never be a captain again. And Pogba said in quotes, speaking to La Fergaro, I've experienced depression many times in my career, but you don't talk about it. 
Yeah, me they don't talk about it. Sometimes you don't know you're depressed. You can, you only want to isolate yourself and be alone. And these, sorry, these signs that don't deceive, you know, it's true. I've I've kind of seen, I've, I've always said it before. People need to understand the way they bash on Paul Pogba, the way the media get onto Paul Pogba. They don't care about his mental health. Pogba also said, personally, it started when I was with Jose Mourinho in Manchester. You ask yourself questions and wonder why you are at fault because you have never lived moments like these in your life. Papa then went on to say that I don't want these negative moments to make me forget all my achievement, but it's not necessarily easy. And when you can't do it all alone, I talk a lot with Uncle Pat. Big up Uncle Pat, big up Patrice Evra for being there for La Bile because Listen, a lot of fans don't even care about this, that he went through depression because they were still slating, you know. They don't care about his mental health. They care about other people's mental health, like, let's say, for example, the Maguires and the Jesse Lingard or the Phil Jones, you know. They care about their mental health. But Paul Pogba is a different story. He also said, from former players who lived it because they understand you, you right away talking, being listened to, getting out all this anger and depression that now is at you. Man, it's, it's mandatory for me. Of course, we earn a lot of money and, and we can't complain really, but it doesn't stop you from going through these moments. Just like everyone in life, some moments are more difficult than others because you earn money, you, sh you should always be happy. That's not how life is, but it's not football. It's not accepted. Even though we're not superheroes, only human beings, football is the most individual team sport. You're judged every three days. You have to be good all the time, although we have problems just like everyone else. Obviously, you feel it in your body, in your mind, and you can feel unwell for a month and even years. But you can't say, it, at least publicly, everything in your mind, your, your mind control, everything, every high level athlete goes through these moments, but only a few talk about it. If you're not mentally strong, you're dead in this sport. These trials force you, but you can't you can't give up. And Pogba speaking as well, also speaking about the situation of the robbery regarding his child and etc. And I feel for Paul Pogba. I don't know what you guys feel because of some of you guys are Paul Pogba lovers, so some of your Paul Pogba haters, but I would like to know what you think of the situation with Paul Pogba admitting to his depression do you feel for him and also i would like to you know i'd like to ask you about what you guys think about the eric ten hog situation do you want ten hog to be the next manager for manchester united and also i would like to know what your thoughts on the proper situation are you for it are you for against him? Do you feel for him uh was he treated badly uh or what else but as always guys this has been your latest manchester united news Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share, press the notification bell for whenever I release new uploads live, when I go live as well, so you can check me out straight away. And as always, remember to keep it united, and remember to keep it ready night, because your boy is out. Peace!